Hey Dave. Hey, what's up, does I? Oh, not much. I just wanted to ask, do you want to come? Don't you say it! Don't you dare say it! Come on. I was just gonna ask if you want to commit double suicide. No, does I? How many times do I gotta tell you? No! Ah, oh, but it's so easy. See? <laughs> To Aminasan, Genki Deska. I'm Dave, and today we're taking a look at the suicide obsessed Osamu Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs. Dazai is a member of the Armed Detective Agency, an organization tasked with solving crimes too difficult or too violent for normal police. Though he is often seen as the comical relief of the series, Dazai's true nature remains a mystery. Here is Dazai unboxed, so let's get right to it before he tries to kill himself again. <laughs> Starting off with his faceplate, he comes with his standard expression. He also has a smart ass grinning expression, and that is followed by an adorable, carefree smiling expression. As for accessories, he comes with his favorite book, A Guide to Suicide. He also comes with an effect part that shows off his ability called No Longer Human. He also comes with several arm and leg pieces. And he also comes with one of the more messed up Nandroid accessories I've seen. He comes with an accessory showing off Dazai trying to drone himself. Yikes. So let's go ahead and check out the Suicide Freak in action. Here is Dazai with his favorite book and he looks so handsome. His trench coat is so slick and I love the way they left his belt waving around him. It just looks so nice. Though I will say it kind of sucks that his trench coat is a part of his nendroid. You cannot remove it. I also love his shaggy hair. He definitely pulls it off really well and so does his nendroid. I also love his vest underneath. That is a really cute detail. And I also love the shine to his turquoise pendant. His choice of literature, however, kind of dark. Though Dazai is obsessed with suicide, he's actually never depressed. He has one of the most carefree attitudes in the anime, and nothing says that more than his cheery smile. Another part of Dazai's dendroid I love is the way he always has one of his hands in his pockets, or both of them for that matter. It's a really cute detail that shows off really well on Dazai's dendroid. I also love the bandages on his arms, those are really nice too. Though I've always wondered why his arms are in bandages. It's probably because he cuts himself, right? Now in this pose, we get to see Dazai use his ability called No Longer Human. Now if you haven't seen the anime, this is a minor spoiler so you've been warned, but Dazai has the ability to nullify another person's ability just by touching him. Now that's kind of a hard pose to show off, and I don't really remember this pose specifically in the anime, because Dazai usually just touches a guy and his abilities go away. But it still looks pretty cool, right? And while No Longer Human doesn't sound like a powerful ability, I can honestly say that Dazai is one of the strongest characters in the anime. And finally, we have Dazai doing his favorite pastime, trying to kill himself by drowning. Damn. You know, I think the first time we see Dazai in the anime, all we see are his legs in a river. This is such a messed up accessory, but before you guys get triggered, I do have a dark sense of humor, so yeah, I think it's kind of funny. Now if you guys didn't know, a lot of the characters from Bungo Stray Dogs are actually named after real life authors, this Dazai included. In fact, Dazai actually wrote a book called No Longer Human and you can pick it up and buy it if you want. I think it is translated in English. Now here comes the messed up part. The real life Dazai actually did commit double suicide with a woman and they did it by you guessed it, drowning in a canal. So now we have a toy of a fictional Dazai drowning himself based off a real Dazai that actually did drown himself and now I get to put this on my shelf. Yeah. You know, if the real life Dazai was alive today, I wonder what he would think if he saw this pose. He'd probably try to kill himself. Overall, I love this Nandroid. Though I am kind of biased because I do love Dazai, but this Nandroid represents his character so well. A little too well if you ask me. <laughs> yeah. 
but he's just so cool and so morbid that I just can't help but love his Nandroid. Now if you guys haven't seen Bungo Stray Dogs, the best way to describe it is Mafia era gang wars with superpowers. And it's really good and I've enjoyed both seasons so far. There is a lot to like about that anime, though I don't like the main character. He's kind of annoying. Alright, so that is going to do it for me here today. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time. Johnny!